Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to sort of a different Power Up webinar. We're calling it Ask Larry Anything, sort of a wide-ranging collection of questions that people have submitted in advance and stuff we're going to ask as part of this particular webinar, but it's on any subject, well, any subject that I've written about, and I'm looking forward to sharing some of the knowledge that I've got with you. So let's get ourselves started. We're going to get right to the questions, starting with the ones that were submitted in advance. James Duke asks, I have a, an image which is 1440 by 1080. It's a photo, it's a still brought into Final Cut Pro 10, but it's automatically stretched to 1920, 1080. Is there a way to avoid it? And so let's take a look at this. Let's select a drive. Notice that I select the drive before I create a new project. I'm going to go to the File menu, go down to, there we go, go down to New Event. I always select the drive first. We're going to just call this event... Um, test images we're gonna call it that but what I type is always an amazing thing to me click on import media by the way I'm running 10.0.7 of Final Cut on my desktop I've created a folder for this webinar and there are several elements here one is a 1440 image and one is a 1920 image so I'm gonna go with these two here, import selected, and uh, we won't copy the files across, and click import. Let's select our drive, create a new project, and because both these projects are 1920-1080, we're going to call this uh, image test, and uh, let's see, custom, we'll set this to be 1080p, and click OK. If we take a 1920 by 1080 image and edit that down into the timeline, notice that the image comes across fine. There are two high definition video sizes. There's 1920 by 1080 and there's 1280 by 720. There's also an interim size which is 1440 by 1080. The reason I mention this is that some video formats, HDV is classic for this, but there are others as well, that in order to reduce file size, instead of having the pixels be square shaped, they are short, fat rectangles. And the 1440 by 1080, because the pixels are short and fat, they expand, they stretch to fill a 1920 image. The problem is, if we bring 1440 by 1080 in, notice that our circle is not a circle, it's an egg. What you'll want to do instead is you're going to want to either crop or adjust these images inside Photoshop so that they are padded to be 1920, 1080. The reason that this is getting stretched is because the video format of HDV is 1440 by 1080. Final Cut says, ah, this is a video format with short, fat pixels. I'm going to stretch it to fill 1920. The way you fix this is make it any other size other than 1440, 1080. Maybe you make it 1400, 1080, or make it 1400 by 1100. Then Final Cut says, whoa, this is just a weird still. Turn this off. There we go. It's in multicam mode. You can switch to multicam mode by turning on or off the angles. I just turned them off. Okay, notice here that this is automatically stretched to fill the frame. If you want it to be exactly 1440, 1080, but you want black around the edges, select the image, go up to the inspector, go all the way down to where it says spatial conform. Change it from fit, which is going to stretch it, to none. And what none should do, except it doesn't here, what none should do is it should show this at exactly 100% size, but because it's at this magical size of 1440 by 1080, which tells Final Cut that this is actually a still frame from an HDV image using short, fat pixels, it's going to stretch that to suit. So let's just do one more experiment here. Let's take this, set this to none, and then edit it down to the timeline, see if it makes any difference. No, it's just a magical size. So you need to figure out some way of making your images some size other than 1440 by 1080, say 1400 by 1100, or 1500 by 1200, or, or if you needed to fill the frame of a 1080 image, you need to make the image 1920 by 1080. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library can save you money. 
at an incredibly low monthly price of only $19.99. Our training covers Apple, Adobe, and Autodesk software. We update it every week. And for more information on what it contains and the benefits you get, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store. And thanks 